Number 80. The gas tank of a certain luxury automobile holds 22.3 gallons, according to the owner's manual, if the density of gasoline is 0.2, sorry, 0.8206 grams per milliliters, determine the mass in kilograms and pounds of the fuel in a fuel tank. Cool. Okay. So, um, let's see. This looks like a density problem, kind of. So, why do I say that? Because... It's telling me that the gas tank holds 22.3 gallons. Now, you guys should know that gallons is a type of volume, and they're telling you that the density is 0 0.8206 grams per milliliter, and they want to know the mass. Okay, so they gave me a volume, they gave me a density, and they're looking for a mass, so definitely we have to use the density formula. You guys should know that formula. It is D equals M over V. Density equals mass divided by volume. So I'll say density, mass, and volume. Now, your units are not standard, right? There's no standard unit for density or mass or volume, but they have to match. So here, they gave us the density in grams per milliliters. So I'm going to put that over here, grams per mil. Now, if I want to make this work, the units have to match. So in the density, they gave us a gram per liter. Oh, sorry, milliliter. So that means that the mass in this problem should be grams, and the mass for the volume should be in mils in order to use this density formula. But they gave me 22.3 gallons. You see the problem here? I need to first convert 22.3 gallons into milliliters. Okay. So how are we going to do this? I look on the volume and I see that there's no conversion for gallon, mainly because it's one that you should memorize. And you should know that there are four quarts in every one gallon. So I can make my roadmap and say that instead of going to mills straight, I can go from gallons to quarts. Now I see that I have a conversion between liters and quarts. So I can go from a liter to a, oh sorry, I can go from a quart to a liter, and then I could use my SI conversions to convert to milliliters. So this, just conversion before we even get to density, is a three-step problem, one, two, and three. So let's first convert. So that's step number one, getting your gallons into milliliters so that we can finally use our density formula. So let's get it. 22.3 gallons times by your ratio. Gallons goes on the bottom and quarts goes up on the top. Because of that conversion that we know, there are four quarts to every one gallon. And the gallons cancel out. Next, so we did this part. Next, we got to convert from quarts to liters. So that's going to be the conversion chart one. So make your ratio. Quartz goes on the bottom. Liters goes up on the top. It tells me that one liter, so one liter, is equal to 1.0567. So 1.0567 quartz. And the quartz go bye-bye. Now we do the same thing times by the ratio. Liters goes on the bottom. Mills go up on the top. But I didn't give you the SI unit conversions because technically you need to know them. What is the conversion between milliliters and liters? There are a thousand milliliters per every one liter. Or if you wanted to do it the other way around, for every one milliliter, it's 10 to the negative three liters. Either conversion you choose is totally fine with me. I'll pick the first one. So I'll say that there's a thousand milliliters for every one liter. Cross off those liters. And now we will get our volume in mils. So times the bot times the top, times the bottom, and simplify. So 22.3 times 4 times a thousand. I get 89,200 divided by 
1.0567, 1 so this divided by 1.0567, so you get 8.44 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's in the correct number of sig figs. There were three sig figs here, so there should be three sig figs here. So this is my volume in mils. Now we're going to use this and plug it into the density formula to get a mass. So D equals M over V. The density was 0 0.8206 equals, we're solving for the mass, divided by this number. So 8.4 times 10 to the fourth. And now we just got to use our algebra. We got to solve for x. So this would be cross multiplication, right? Because technically this is over 1. So x would equal cross multiply 0 0.8206 times 8.44 times 10 to the fourth. So 8.44 times 10 to the fourth times 0 0.8206. So I'm going to use the correct number of sig figs here. We're multiplying with sig figs. So this number has four sig figs. This number only has three. So our answer should have three sig figs in it. And I'll just put that here. This one had four, this one has three. So our answer needs to have three. So 6.93 times 10 to the one, two, three, four. And now you have to follow the unit that was given in the density. So this was grams per mil. That means that the volume had to be in mils. That's why we had to convert. And now the mass unit coming out is in grams. But now they just wanted to find it out in kilograms. So that's another SI unit. What's your SI unit conversion from gram to kilogram? You could say that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram or... 10 to the third grams equal one kilogram. It's the same exact thing. So 6.93 times 10 to the fourth grams times it by that ratio. Grams goes on the bottom, kilograms up top. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Cross off those grams. And we are left with our answer. So 6.93 times 10 to the fourth divided by 1,000 is basically 69.3 kilograms. So that's your answer to the first part, 69.3 kilograms. And box that answer off. Now we just got to convert the kilograms into the pounds. So that's a mass conversion. And looky here, one kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds. So this is only a single conversion. So um, let me put it over here. Let me just put that line there. So now I got 69.3 kilograms times that by the ratio. Kilograms goes on the bottom. Pounds goes up top. According to that conversion, one kilogram equals 2.2046. Cross off the kilograms. And your answer should have three sig figs because this answer has three. So... 69.3 times 2.2046, you get 153. Um, yeah, so 153 pounds. And there you go, 153 pounds. So that is the difference. So the mass is 69.3 kilograms which is the same thing as 153 pounds. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. This one was cool. We haven't really been doing density, so this is kind of cool. Um, so if this helped, tell us about it. Send us a comment and like this video. It just helps us reach other people just like yourselves. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.